Hi, Ben. Good evening to you. Now, New Haven police say that this alleged gang has been around here since the early 2000s, and they call themselves Exit 8. Now, police say that they're one of the most dangerous groups in the area, and they do hope this indictment sends them a message. I and my law enforcement partners behind me would rather not be here today. Local, state, and federal law enforcement officials announcing a major bust where they've arrested and charged six members of an alleged gang. Gun violence will not be tolerated. Federal officials say the six men have been charged with racketeering conspiracy, including drug trafficking, murder, and attempted murder. They're part of a group called Exit 8. Police say the gang uses that name since they cover the area right off the I-91 exit. Newer, younger members also go by Honcho, named after a former member killed by a rival gang on Quinnipiac Ave in 2020. And then they carried that torch, unfortunately the torch of violence, Chief Carl Jacobson knows many of the men well, especially 24-year-old Donald Alec Jr. It's just compelling to be here 10 years later after meeting him at, at his father's own, when we solved his father's murder. After his dad was killed by rival gang members, the chief says Alec Jr. chose the wrong path, but police intercepted, connecting with him and other members of Exit 8 through a program called Project Longevity, which works with people at risk of becoming shooters or getting shot. The message is, see, we told you, don't pick up the guns, but it's also a message of you don't have to do this. Unfortunately, Jacobson says Alec Jr. never accepted their help, and it ended like this. That to me is like we failed that first part, right? But to protect the city, we have to engage with the second part and charge them federally. Now, we do want to mention, it is important to mention that these are all allegations at this point. However, if convicted, at least two of the men could be facing a maximum of 60 years in prison, and the other four could be facing 20 years or even more than that. In the meantime, this is a very ongoing investigation, and police say that there could be more charges. We're live here in New Haven tonight. Julia LeBlanc, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.